Hi, ladies. <laughs> I'm back. I'm really giving it to you today. And look at this wig. Take a good look. This is Avalon by Aesthetica Designs. And this is the shade Smoky Rose. I need a moment. Okay, first of all, I'm going to talk to you about the wig itself. Avalon, in my humble opinion, is one of the greatest wigs ever. There's something about these beachy waves. There's just the perfect length. If you are a woman who is looking for a wig that isn't too long, but you do want some length, and you want something that looks, okay, he's barking, Chippy is getting, hold on, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. Okay, it's safe to return from the bark of Chippy. Anyway, Avalon happens to be one of my favorite wigs. I have this wig in many colors. I've got Caramel Kiss, I've got Chrome um, RT1B, I've got some blonde colors. Like, uh, there's there's a lot going on with my love for Avalon. Um, she's just a great length. If you are of the mature age, or even not of the mature age, and you don't want something too long, this is a great length simply because she just grazes just slightly below the shoulders. She does give length, but she's not, um, she's not so long that she's going to get tangled or anything like that. She is a great office wig. She's very versatile. You can wear her on date night or running errands. She's a great summer wig because of these waves. She's a great winter wig because she is slightly longer, but yet she won't get tangled up in um, a nubby fabric. This is overall a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful head of hair. Now, this is one of the new shades by Aesthetica, Smoky Rose. Or if you like wine, you can always say Smoky Rose, but I prefer to call it Smoky Rose, and she is smoking hot. I love the blend of colors in this because there's like blonde, but yet there's just slightly, 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 a few shades of auburn. And then we have the pink, but it's not like bright in your face pink. And I know that lately a lot of wig companies have been reaching outside the box and producing wigs with really vibrant like rainbow colors and those colors are fun but they're not for everybody so I think if you are somebody who wants to experiment with different colors or different shades like a, a, a pink for instance this is a wonderful wonderful shade to start out with because in certain light she really looks white and then in other lights she looks more blonde and then you've got the highlights with the pink so there's just like there's a myriad of shades going on here. And once again, if you haven't seen Avalon before, I will turn around and I will show you how she looks from side to side and in the back, okay? So here we go. Here's my right side. See how the waves just like, they're really nice. They're not as loose as some other wigs, but I like that about that. This is like one of those summer, or I just got out of the shower and this is how my hair dried. You know, that kind of wig. So here is my left side. And here we go. I'm going to turn around and show you the back. So there's the back. Now it's really the one thing that I found is difficult in showing you this wig at home is the parting space is a lot better than it looks on my miserable computer camera with the bad lighting. So I'll try to show you 
how much better it looks when I take her off. Here we go. Hopefully you can get a better view. Can you see the way that the shades are blending? She's blonde, but she's not blonde. Like it's just really, really very subtly and very well done. So here we go. We have the lace parting space. We have the lace front. The wefting is nice and light. We don't have the dark wefting, which is great. We've got the bra strap to adjust. So overall, she's very comfortable. But that's kind of what you get with aesthetical wigs. They're just super comfortable wigs. Hold on, I'm gonna take my glasses off. I'm like blown away by the fact that I can actually see without wearing glasses these days. It's pretty amazing. Look at that. I mean, come on, how good is this? And you know, if you want more volume, all you have to do is just take your fingers and kind of zhuzh her out a little. That's it. You can even do that by loosening the waves a bit. Isn't she great? This is, this is really great. And again, this is very, very flattering to the angular face because these slight layers and the waves really get to soften your um, rather square face if you do have a square face, which, you know what? It's really funny. Um, not that I'm changing the subject, but Aesthetica Designs came out with a new wig, Rider. And I tried Ryder on when I was over visiting my friends from Aesthetica over the week. And Ryder didn't look good on me, like at all. Ryder wasn't dense. Um, for me, I need a wig that's more dense than not dense. Um, it just, it was really funny because the way that the length came did not do anything to soften my face or anything like that. So that's another thing that I wanna to touch upon. When you're buying a wig, you really need to take a good look at the shape of your face. You need to write down, like this is basically, this is what I want you to do now. After you finish watching this video, I want you to take a pen, and your journal or a notebook or a piece of paper. And I want you to write down what kind of face you have. What is your face shape? Is it square? Is it oval? I want you to take a really, really, really super good look in the mirror. And I want you to check your facial features. Now, after I had that surgery, I really got to see what my face looked like um, in real life. Because before I had the surgery, it was just like a blur. So I looked a hell of a lot better when I had blurry eyes than when I got my eyes fixed. Because when I looked in the mirror after getting my eyes fixed, I saw jowls. I saw fish lips. And... You know, I just saw a face that gravity has kind of taken over. So what I need to do these days is smile a lot more because a smile kind of makes my face a little bit more youthful. Um, I have to hold my chin up a little bit because if I do this, I look like a certain politician with a turtleneck. And I just... I have to kind of adjust things. And wearing the right wig really helps. It really helps to soften your face. It really helps to take away years from your face. And I'm not saying that we all wanna look like a kid because we don't. But 
port of pro aging um, is not anti aging. And port of pro aging is recognizing how your face has changed and working on little nuances just to make you look a little bit better without like looking like an Instagram photo. So that's basically it. A good head of hair, whether it's real or whether it's fake. And trust me, as we age more, fake hair becomes our friend more and more. Um, you don't have to worry about a blow dryer. You don't have to worry about anything. You plop a wig on and that's it and you go. I mean, what could be easier than that? It gives you more time to enjoy life. So I know I went off on a tangent and I know I went off subject of this gorgeous Avalon wig, but that's basically what I wanted to tell you. A good wig will really make you feel good and look good. And Avalon is just one of those wigs. And this shade is just fun. This smoky rose is fun. If you want to run errands and you just want to look like you're having a good time, this shade is great. If you're going to a holiday party, I mean, let's face it, Thanksgiving is next month, next month. And then it's the Christmas and Hanukkah season. So between like next month and January, we're not going to be having elaborate parties because of COVID, but we'll be having family gatherings. And you want to have fun during those family gatherings, especially if your family's dysfunctional. You need some kind of fun and dysfunctional. So just get a wig, this shade. It's like gorgeous and it's fun. So that's about it. This was a short review on this Avalon wig in Smoky Rose. So have a great day. Have a great, I was going to say, have a great wig week which I meant to say, have a great week, but have a great wig, but have a great wig week. So take care and I will see you later. I will be back with more reviews. I hope that you stay safe and stay well. Bye.